Hi, today we're doing a fun and easy flamingo painting and I'm going to show you a super easy way to paint flamingo feathers in just a few seconds using only one brush. I'm doing a very easy background using a large brush. I'm using these colours but you could use any colours that you like. I sketched out a drawing of my flamingos earlier and I'm just tracing that onto the canvas. I have put a link in the description for a free traceable if you'd like to use it. I've made two shades of pink, one slightly lighter and one slightly darker by adding more red and I'm going to use the darker version to block out my flamingos. Usually when blocking out I tell people not to worry too much, just block out the general shapes and colours. But for this painting, I'm going to say just take your time a little bit, keep it as neat as you can, because it'll make your life a lot easier when we're painting the rest of the flamingo. I'm using a smaller round brush when I'm painting the more detailed areas on the face. You might need a couple of coats of paint, especially for the white. Now we're going to paint the flamingo feathers and this is super simple to do. I have a medium filbert brush and I'm using the lighter pink colour with a tiny little bit of white. I'm not mixing the colours together fully and I'm using the tip and the side of the brush to just flick downwards and create those feathered effects. As long as you can still see the darker pink underneath here and there, just work on getting that nice feather shape. Now we'll add some smaller little fluffy feathers at the top and for this I'm just using the tip of the filbert brush again and making a smaller shorter flicking motion. We can redefine and tidy up our flamingo neck a little now. 
I've added a tiniest amount of black to my pink for the shadowed area at the back of the neck. Then we'll start adding our lighter pinks to build up the neck and the head. With the lighter colour you can really get the shape of the head by curving the brush strokes around and also the jawline too. These are the colours that I've used today and if you'd like to learn more about acrylic painting and pick up more hints and tips, try watching one of these videos here. See you next time.